Here. Sign is good. Now we're going to pray, John. I had to pray, so we're going to go over a couple of things. First, John, if you got uh, if you got the internet, you can watch it on Pastor Lupe Sanchez. You just go to YouTube, type in my name, and it will take you to my website. And you can see the latest videos, or you can write that notes, whichever you want. First, John 5.15. And if you and if you know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that he that we have the petition that we desire of him. And in that day, uh, John 16:23. In that day, you shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it unto you. He will give it to you. John 15:16. You have chosen, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit uh, should remain, and that whosoever uh, you shall ask of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Have you seen so far the trend? John eleven twenty two. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it. To thee. Give it to thee. Mark 11, 23, 26. For verily I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, be cast in the sea, and you shall not die in his heart, but shall believe it in those things which he shall, shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he saith. Whatsoever I say unto you, what things, whatsoever you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So if you believe, you can move mountains. Matthew 21, 22. In all things, whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believe and you shall receive. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the trend so far? All right. John 14, 13. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that my Father may be glorified in the Son. Amen. So, uh, since we're, we're going to do both double header preaching, we're going to call this, Why Are My Prayers Not Being Answered? Mm -hmm. He said he would answer all prayers. And, and uh, I'm going to give you a few reasons why your prayers are not being answered. James 4.2 James 4.2 says you lust, you have not, you kill, you desire to have and cannot obtain. You fight and war, yet you have not because you have not. Now I love to use part of that verse. You have not because you ask not. Okay? But that's not all the verse. Okay? This is the verse. You ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, that you may consume it upon your lust. Mm -hmm. The reason most Christians don't have, uh, ever have any of their prayers answered, or just a very few prayers answered, they pray for the wrong things. Right. They lust after worldly things. Mm -hmm. Some of the uh, things that they pray for are, Lord, I need more money. I need health, I need wealth, I need prosperity. They call those selfish prayers. Why? Because it's all about self. Right. Self. Right. Who are you praying for? Self. self. So they call that selfishness. Mm -hmm. Did you get that? Amen? Amen? Real simple. Real simple. Your prayers are the same prayer every night. Bless me, bless my family, bless my lost friends and family, help my dog, we couldn't find my dog this morning, help my cat, help my church, amen. I, I, I need help for me and the people I care about. Sounds a little selfish to me. God's not interested in selfish prayers. Selfishness stops prayers. It's not about you and all those that you love. God wants to bless you and answer your prayers, but selfishness will stop it. Amen. Now, I don't 
mean stop praying for the lost or for your lost members. I'm not saying that. But every once in a while, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, you ought to pray for somebody. Amen. Amen. That needs salvation that's not a member of your family, not a co-worker, uh, not, a, not somebody that you know, but somebody that you have witnessed to or met and you got on your knees and you prayed with tears and say, God, I have no idea about this man, but I, I, I certainly want him to get saved. Amen. That will get you out of your selfish mode. Amen. Number two, you ought to pray for some preacher. Amen. I'm one. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We're going to have uh, Larry, uh, Mr. Dalrymple in August. He'll be here. You can pray for him. All right? Pray for a preacher. Amen. Uh, amen. Pray for a preacher that, that's been in this church and, and pray for these guys that you don't know nothing about. Amen. amen. And get to praying for them. That will stop your selfishness. Amen. And usually selfishness always has a good reason. Why they pray for themselves. I need Excuse more me. money. Sorry. Why? You don't tithe now. You don't give missions now. Mm. And you're asking God to give you more money so that you won't spend on the church. Mm. And you want that prayer answered, right? Mm. Let me see. Will this get answered? <laughs> I'm thinking now. Remember sarcasm. I'm thinking. <clears throat> No, I don't think so. Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Now, if you was to pray, Lord, I, you know, I could probably use about 500 and, uh, you know, uh, I, I'd like to give half to the church uh, to help out that missionary that we, we try to support and I could pay my bills with the rest. Lord, would you do that? You may have a better chance. Amen. But if you're selfish mm. and all you want is the money for who? You. Self. Mm. You get nada. Nada. Amen. Hagar. Six. You won't believe this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Hagar, one, six. You so much. You've done a lot of work with it. You've been out there busting, busting your behind trying to make money and bring in the you eat but not have enough. I mean, there's a quarter pound steak. I mean, two, I mean, it's a pound thick and you ate the whole sucker and you're still hungry. You're ready for dessert. Amen? Uh, but you have not enough to drink. Well, man, you just drank <coughs> Three pictures of, uh, uh, of booze, amen, and you want four. But you are not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is you're not warm. The clothes you buy, you're still freezing. Mm -hmm. Or in this condition, overheated, amen. Mm -hmm. He that earneth wages, here it comes, that earneth wages, earneth wages, to be put into a bag. Here's your bag. God gave you a bag. Only problem is, he put it with holes. Why? Because you're selfish. And even though you're busting, you're behind, and making as many thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, and millions of dollars, I mean, you're, you're just making tons of money. And then you go, Where's all the money? Uh, it went in the hole. In your bag. It all fell out. Amen? All of a sudden, now you got to go to the dentist. All of a sudden, now you need eyeglasses. All of a sudden, your car breaks down. All of a sudden, you got all these problems. Why? You were selfish. You never gave no money to God. So God says, I'm going to take my part. What do you think about that, buddy? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put holes in your bag. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the hole 
Paul's in, amen, and I'm going to get my 10%. Is that right? I think I'll take a little more. <laughs> That's called sarcasm too. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Selfishness. Selfishness. Selfishness stops prayer. Selfishness stops prayer. It's the same old prayers that you pray every night. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. Lord, bless me. You know what the Lord said? I ain't blessing you. You don't even believe it. You know why? I'll tell you another thing. We'll stop prayer. Faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The reasons a lot of Christians don't ever have their prayers answered is lack of faith. Amen. You don't believe it anyway. Amen. You just don't believe it. You don't believe it, so guess what? God said, you don't believe it. No. The answer's no. Not going to give it to him. Answer. Amen. If he don't believe it, she don't believe it, I ain't going to give it to him. It's just that simple. You ain't got no faith. Amen. Selfishness kills prayers. No faith kills prayers. And, oh, by the way, you have an adversary called the devil. He'll come by and he'll, he'll tell you, you a sorry Christian. Amen. I mean, the last person that should have faith is you. I mean, you know, you're selfish. You know, you don't pray, you don't go to church, you don't read your Bible enough, you don't do this, you don't do that, da, da, da. He's got a whole list, amen. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And here you are beating yourself up 